Notion has been coming out with a lot of really cool updates recently, including one for the relation property. In fact, they've updated the relation property a few times over the summer. So what I want to share with you today is how to utilize that relationship property using a notebook database. And of course, I'm going to be pretty broad with this example, so this could apply to any kind of database. This is going to be a quick video. I'm just going to share with you the general functionality of the relation property and also a short formula to help you visualize and navigate your pages in Notion a little bit easier. So let's just get right into it. This is the page you guys will be able to duplicate down in the description below. There's also a full template, but really this is just a simple look at how the functionality of this new relation update works. So we have a database, a table here full of mock-up notes uh, in the theme of pizza. And how I wanna connect these notes is from concept to description. So concept for pizza, for instance, the descriptions for it would be pizza dough, pizza sauce, and pizza topping. So inside of the pizza page, I want to create a relation property. By going to add a property, I'm going to search down at the bottom for relation. And what I wanna do is connect to the database I'm currently in, which is called All My Notes, and you'll know what database you're in by this I symbol here, or information symbol. So because we're using the concept and description relation, I'm going to rename this property to concept. And I'm going to create a separate direction. This is going to create a backlink. So for every concept, it has descriptions. And if you look down here at the preview window, it will show you and sort of give you a visual representation of how this connection is working. So from the database, all my notes, we have a concept relation going to itself, all my notes, and then coming back, we have descriptions. So let's just click add relation, and it should show up with two relation properties here. So let's just add these descriptions here for pizza dough, pizza sauce, and pizza toppings. Pizza toppings. And now if I were to go into pizza dough, the concept is now pizza and I can sort of navigate to both of these pages very quickly. With that being said, this side peak effect of having a note in the side of my screen and being able to navigate back to the database on the other side of the screen is something that you can toggle on and off via the database menu again and layout. You can open pages in side peak, center peak, or full page. And if you do have side peak on, all of the other links, like these relations, will also open up in this side view. If I go down to pizza toppings over here on the left side of the screen, I can add some of my descriptions here, like cheese, spinach, pineapple, sausage, pepperoni. So if I go back up to pizza, and I see that my descriptions are these three here, I want to know inside of my descriptions how many descriptions those pages have. The first thing I want to do is click on my descriptions relation and I want to show as a page section. With this, now I can customize what I'm seeing here through customized properties, these three dots, and I can show relations that connect to these descriptors like a short explanation. That's the short explanation up here. And if I click through this text property, I can edit the text property via the relation. So I want to put that signal right about here. So for pizza toppings, I wanted to say five descriptions. Let's go up here and add another property called number of descriptions. And we're going to use a roll up to calculate this. The roll up is going to be called number descriptions. And what a roll up does is the same thing you're really doing down here in the page section is you are visualizing or collecting properties that this page is connected to via a relation. So all of its descriptions, I can grab all of the properties connected to those descriptions through this lookup property. So the relation I want to grab is descriptions for pizza. That should give me all of my descriptions here. 
So I can't click on them like I can a relation, but I can view them. Go back to edit property. What I want to do is just collect the name and calculate count all. Now it'll give me the number three, which is acting like a number property. And I'm going to go to hide property and always hide. What I can do for a minimal look is again, go to customize shown properties. And now I have that number description roll up that I can view. And I can see that pizza toppings has five descriptions. Now I don't really want just a number. I do want to customize this a bit. So I'm going to create a formula property called signal. So let's just create a custom signal. And here, what I want to do, if you go up to the uh, follow along page, the formula is right here. So you can just copy this to your clipboard and paste it in, or you can follow along. I'm just going to copy this little arrow symbol here, just so I have it. Go back to pizza. And in signal, I want to say, if that number description roll up, which does act like a number is greater than zero, I want to format. So using the format function, what that does is turn a number into text. Inside, I want to click that number description roll up under properties. So let's format that plus in quotation space description. And then I'm going to paste in that arrow that I had in my clipboard. Um, uh, false conditions just going to be an empty space or empty quotes. Press done. I'm going to go down here to customize shown properties and I'm going to show that signal and I can drag that before the short explanation or after. And there you go. So now I can navigate to pizza toppings and see those five descriptions there. And you can see how that can be helpful as your database grows. So let me show you how this works in other use cases, because this is rather straightforward. So I'm going to go to my family members database inside of my family tree hub, where I do use this strategy. So inside of a person in my family tree, I have a few things. So I have a relation to sources, which is to another database. So if I go to edit property here, see my preview window, family members database connected to sources database. This is called sources and then a backlink called members. So here in sources, I have a few things I'm seeing. I'm seeing item type, which if I do click on it, and this is a select property, I can change the type from here. I do have a URL shown as well, which is very helpful. I have multiple relations as well, which you can arrange inside of this page selection. And I am using page section. So you can change it. Like maybe I can go to family relation here and show as minimal instead of page section. And I'll show you how that works. So family here will just give me a little symbol. that says there is one relation in family, which is Brennan. So what I can do here, if I want to change it from minimal to page section or back to just a regular property, I will have to go to the page menu at the top, go to customize page. And here I can customize all of those relations as well. Go to family and change minimal to page section or as property. And then if I do have it as property and go back to the top here, I'll see family back at the top of the page. If I go to my family atlas and I go to one of these places, I have residents that are associated with this place in the relation down here. This connects to my family members again. And what I have shown here is gender, born year, and place of birth. So place of birth, you'll notice, is also a relation. And if I click on that place of birth, First of all, I can add another page, I can change this page, or I can navigate to it. So I can navigate to Compton and go straight to that page. Let's look at one more example inside of my formula hub. This is where I keep my formulas. So let's take a look at one of these, and these are formulas used in Notion, like the one we created 
just now. So formatting the week of the month, I have a formula for here. And inside of my properties, I have two different distinct relations, one for the functions I'm using in this formula. So the if statement, not, empty, format, and so on. And I'm able to view two different properties, notion description, which is a text property, and also the syntax. So here, this is formatted in a code, inline code format, which is just command E. And I can see the distinction between syntax and just regular text. And also related formulas as well. So functions, if I go to edit property, this relation is connected to a completely different database for just my functions. And related formulas is related to itself, like we just created before with the pizza database. So we have in edit property, just formulas related to itself, but I did not create a backlink here. Now, when you don't create a backlink, if I were to go to this related formula, the related formula coming back should automatically create a backlink within the same relation back to where we were before. So you can just keep going back and forth. Let's take a look how we can create different database views with this new relation dynamic with concepts and description. So here we have all of our nodes just sorted by created time. In the next database view, I want to create, I'm just gonna click that plus symbol there, a new view, maybe create a list view, open pages and side peek, and I'm gonna create a filter here, but first let's just sort by created time. Go back. And the name of this is gonna be called top tier notes or just top tier. So top tier is going to include all notes that have descriptions, but do not have concepts. So they're at the top of this hierarchical connection. And the only page we have like that is pizza. So in filter, I want to say, Concept, I can say concept and where contains is here and say concept is empty. I can add another filter here that says descriptions here at contains is not empty. And this will give us just pizza. And maybe hide this database title. Let's do orphan notes. So what orphan notes are, and let's just duplicate this because I also want it to be a list call it orphans. And the only orphan we have is the tacos page. And the reason why it's an orphan is because it does not have a concept or descriptions. So again, let's go to filter. Let's keep concept is empty, but change descriptions is not empty to descriptions is empty. And we should have tacos. So that's kind of how you can organize your hierarchical connections in a database view or several database views. I really enjoy this relation property update or series of updates because it really helps me out with navigating pages. That's always been something I had a problem with with Notion was creating note-taking databases that are easy to navigate. So let me know down in the description below how much you are also appreciating or not appreciating the new updates. And I will see you guys the rest of the week on Twitter and next time with a new video. I'll see you then.